Hello everybody and welcome back to Subsistence King of the Hill. Um, we've taken a couple of days just to do some general looting. Promise we didn't kill each other. Uh, nothing really changed other than I managed to go out and get stocked up on a well, a little bit of wood. Not really a whole heck of a lot. Um, and I'm desperately short of veg. So, uh, yeah. There's, there's that. And I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. I'm just not finding any blueberries. So, uh, Crimstick is with me, giggling, giggling in the background. Uh, but before yep, I actually, I'm laughing with you and not at you. <laughs> before we actually go off and start our daily routine, I just wanted to go over a couple of rule changes that we've discussed uh, that we think need making. Um, the first one, uh, if you want to refer back to our list that I put up at the beginning of episode one, under personal base is item number one. We had a player may not attack another player's personal base unless he is in control of the neutral base, the main base. And I th we've decided that that's actually a bit wrong because if you're in control of the ne neutral base, you're on top, you're the winning player at that time. So being able to attack the weakest player kind of is backwards. Um, so we're going to change that, that uh, unless word to if. So a player may not attack another player's personal base if he is in control of the neutral base. So in other words, that allows the losing player at the time, the one that doesn't have control, to make a choice. He can attack the neutral base or the, the other player's base. Whereas if you're in control of the base, you don't, you don't have that choice. So that's, uh, I think, an important change. But it does make the losing player a little bit more gives you a little bit more leeway to climb back on into the, a winning position I think so that seemed logical and the other change we're going to make uh, the base combat combat re revolving around the base we did cover this in a previous episode uh, item number one attacking a, the attacking player must defeat the defending player before base capture can occur and I think given the size of the map and the fact that we've been running around for a few days now and not actually run into each other much <laughs> apart from the first day um that's just <laughs> going to be impossible um because like if i can't attack to get control of the neutral base until i've killed crimstick and he decides to deliberately avoid me maybe burying his head in a base somewhere or just sees me and runs away um i can never get control of the base so we're going to scrap that rule entirely um now, if I want to go and attack the neutral base, I can do it at any time, whether he's there or not. And he will get a warning to say that I'm attacking, and it could be the neutral base or it could be his personal base. He won't know which base I'm attacking. Uh, so he has to basically run to whichever one he treasures the most. <laughs> yeah, but, um, right. <laughs> yeah, so, right. but that, again, that puts a little bit more power back in the hands of the losing player. And... Um, Hopefully, we'll make it a little bit easier to, to climb back onto the top. Uh, because we are assuming that the, the person that is currently in the winning position is going to be significantly stronger than the player in the losing position. So that's that's important. Right, I need to drop that off. I'm going to go out with that. Right. And as you can see with my viewers, uh, I spent the couple of days and just grinding a bunch of wood because I really just don't want to do that on camera. Uh, but as you can see, the base has gotten bigger. Uh, wait a minute, can you? Okay, let's let's make sure we can't do this real quick, because that would be... Okay, yeah, I don't think you can. Sweet, okay. But, oh, I left I left my back door open. <laughs> hey, okay. Oh, wish I'd have known. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just dropping things off, because as you saw, I had a lot on me, and going about my day like it's all good. But we can't do that. But I'm trying to just mainly get my stuff, like inventory figured out with, and because it's, it's driving me nuts. And we're gonna have to make some more arrows because I don't have enough. So. I think you should consider that you're in a pr privileged position because you have a back door. <laughs> just like I've got a door. <laughs> <Yeah. That's laughs> front, back, irrelevant. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna put. Just a bunch of stuff in here that I don't want him getting a hold of. And as you can see, I still have this, so not a concern with that. I've yet to find anything. I didn't want to find one, especially not recording. That just wouldn't have been very cool at all. So that's what we're kind of on the hunt for today. 
And of course, grind some grub trees, get some grubs going. It's a great source of wood, as well as the grub. So, yeah. Well, Hopefully I seem to be going. spending most of my days just chopping wood at the moment because uh, feeding this little campfire is a task <laughs> in itself. So, um, yeah. Essentially, I chop wood, I go find something to loot, I chop more wood, I find something to loot, I chop more wood. And, um, and that's about all you can do while yeah. trying to get your supplies up. Yeah, it's just. I think I know your tactic. Do you? And wait for Alpha or Bravo. I'm like, oh, okay, great. They attacked him. Now I'm going to go attack his other base. Well, I always remember um, a saying from years ago: castles built on sand. Um. Oh, okay. There's a wolf there. Um, yeah, if you build your castle on sand, you cannot expect it to stand in a storm. So, yes, I might be taking my time, but I'm giving myself a good foundation. Whereas you rushed to get neutral base, and then you're kind of having to rush to do your own base. And I'm kind of hoping as a result, your base ooh, hello bear, will be weaker. Uh, might not be the case, but um, good strategy. Mm. But well, I mean, there's only one way to find out. Exactly. So okay. he's gone. I need to find uh, the entire server's stash of loot crates in a small pile somewhere easily and convenient to access. Uh, what? Just behind this rock, maybe? 62 crates in a pile. Mm, no. Eh, it was worth a chance. Uh, right, let's see if we can get something good. In your locked crate, I'm sure you'll find something. Oh! Well done, dear! I was aiming right for his head with a side shot, and as soon as I shot, he turned his head the other way. <laughs> but narrowly missed him. Good dear, good dear. He just disappeared in front of me. Yeah. Yeah, All that's right. a, that's a little annoying. Wow. I'm so glad I did not take that shot. I've I've seen a report right, somebody made uh, with deer is if you hit them twice, if you shoot them but you don't get a headshot, headshot, so you have to hit them again, then if after the second shot they manage to go out of sight of you I mean as in out of line of sight they will immediately despawn I don't know how true it is I've tried it a couple of times and both times they have despawned but it could have been coincidence it's hard to say yeah, yeah. it's this game the crazy thing about this game and what I have to constantly remind myself even though it's like almost a finished game, in my opinion, I mean, it's so much completed with it, so much to do, it's still an alpha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't think it's going to be enough to. It is far better than. Ooh. Far better than a lot of games that are out there that they consider to be finished. Uh, and yeah. yet he's still happy to call it an alpha game. So. I'm really looking forward to when he considered it's finished because <laughs> it's going to be a mega game. Now, the one thing I do see is like when a lot of the stuff comes Ooh, well out, done, chicken. Well it's done. for end game stuff, which, yeah, makes sense. I mean, you want to get the end game really in a game kind of as soon as possible. But I was kind of hoping to see stuff to make the beginning of the game easier as well because I haven't seen too many of those I mean you got the underground caves and stuff like that All right, can I get that from here wait I can I'm staring right at the sun well I, I yeah, don't I mean, really know what else that could yeah, be done added to make the beginning of the game easier I but think I mean the underground caves and things are not really beginning of the game they're more an end game thing no they're not um, but I think things like well done wolf you were well hidden there 
Um, things like the ability to collect rainwater, um, quality of life improvements, um, the ability to wash your hands when you're in a thunderstorm. Just little things would make the beginning of the game easier. Um, there's a quite, point. quite a lot of those little things that would just improve the start game. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I guess it's one thing at a time. We, we Supposedly in the next update we're getting new building pieces. Um, albeit, I think, only triangular panels, but, you know, building pieces are building pieces. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I still have yet to see all of the new hunter bases. And I haven't yeah. seen hardly any of them, so that's going to be really cool to... Oh, that's potassium. That's nasty. Yeah, no, I haven't um, I haven't come across any... Uh, my my single-player Let's Play at the moment, the three bases I've got are all traditional Alpha Bravo Charlie, so... I think that's more potassium. Now, you were saying something about servers have a fourth hunter base, Delta? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, you can get, uh... Oh, hang on. Uh, Delta base. Uh, I think it can be Bravo base as well, but uh, certainly Delta base um, can have a uh, diving uh, what's it, equipment in it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so I th I'm pretty sure I've seen one or somebody's mentioned that there was one in a, in a Bravo type base, um, or a base that spawned in, in in a position that they would name it Bravo, but I don't know that, so... But yeah, that was um, one of the reasons I suggested um, the, holding the neutral base is not the only way to make things. Like, um, for instance, Bouncy commented recently that um, obviously if you're the losing player, you've got no way to craft iron fragments to be able to make your your rifle, and therefore the rifle should not be a lootable item. Um, but that's not true, because you can, of course, use hunter bases. So the trick would be just to get a weapon and then upgrade it as soon as possible, so they can't take it from you. Yes. If that sounds like it's coming from Alpha. Get a shotgun. All right, you know what? There's too much of this around here. What you got? You got I shooting do going check on? I want to that out, though. There's a lot of shooting going on at Alpha. Is there? Well, maybe I'll come over and do some do some uh, damage assessment. Let's try and get. Can I get it? Oh. Alright. Oh. Iron. Alright, let's go check on it and see. Anything? No, I'm being very quiet. I'm That's just a level one.
could have been shooting a, a wolf or a, a bear or anything. Yeah, I'm... Um... Huh. I'm trying to look around for, like, animals that have possibly leveled up. There's a level 2 brown bear. Oh, I see somebody up there in the rock. Interesting. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> These are uh, Pistols are really are useless, aren't they? They really are. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little intrigued. You want to be careful. You don't get flanked. Always a possibility of that. <laughs> well done, Mr. Mozo. You got me, you made me use a bandage. <laughs> so did you, okay, so since you were there, did you see what was going on with the hunters? Mm, might have done. <laughs> Interesting. I have to watch your videos. I, I might have been witness to events that took their course, maybe. Oh, I'm assuming you took all the parts. <laughs> all right, well, that kind of backfired. <laughs> and I have the bleeding thing stuck on my screen. Oh, Fantastic. I've had, I've had that for <laughs> ages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <sighs> we are going to head back. He's got me a little nervous in the direction he was running. So what we're going to do... Wait, am I muting? I am not muting. That's all right. Don't worry about it. You don't need to mute. <laughs> We're going to do this. And where's the other one? Right there. I don't mind if you tell me your war plans. Okay, so for that, we need that many more so that's what we're going to work on today this episode I got you all riled up now haven't I yeah actually yeah <laughs> I want to go hunt you down dude yeah that was fun he said it's so much better than just going after a hunter because they aimbot the heck out of you so I've got some time to stand around now granted your lower half was completely covered so I had a lot less yeah, no, that you, it was a cracking shot, that that first pistol shot. From that range, I didn't that, uh, I didn't expect you to be able to hit from that range first go. You know, you've got to sort of get your, get your aim in, haven't you? A little warm-up, yeah. Waste yeah. some ammo. And the sights on that pistol are so rubbish. So uh, oh, at, that, at that range, it's very, very hard to hit. Now you got me, uh, and I got you, so right now we're about <laughs> even. I think I hit you twice. You only hit me once. <laughs> oh, I'm, I wasn't counting, so... I, <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> Blimey, I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bear. Be cool, dude. Uh, all right. Assess the situation here.
So hmm. I wouldn't mind, but it wasn't actually all that fruitful. So you know, normally taking risks like that, you expect to to gain something worth having, but. I can't honestly say I came away in a profit situation. I don't think any of us did, to be honest with you. Hmm. Right here I am, just running around, no problem, looking around, and I see that little mozo head peeking over. I'm like, oh, this dude. I'm amazed you saw me, actually. I, I'm very surprised you could see me because I was literally just able to see over the top of the rock. So that's an indication that the, the game um, collision is kind of different, you know, first person to third yeah. person, which we know from trees anyway, but um, I, if I'd have been any lower, I wouldn't have been able to see you at all. So, yeah, does that. And no, I wasn't camping on the top of the rock, by the way. I... I Kind of, as soon as you mentioned about I'm going to go and investigate, uh, I kind of withdrew, having got what I went, what I came for. Well, I mean, um, I say camping, that was fine because I saw you and we just neutrally started shooting each other. It's mm -hmm. not like you have a rifle and waited for me to pick up the loot from the bag to stand still yeah. to headshot me. No, I, I mean, that, I, what you did is acceptable. I adjusted my position uh, a few times so as not to be just camped in the best possible location that you couldn't see me from, so... Um, I really, really, really need to find some vegetables. And did I... I forget, did we talk about the plant bed situation? I don't remember. Uh, I don't think we did. No, we didn't, no. Okay, so... I was a lot of this offline thing too was to experiment with the plant bed to see if it was going to grow. Unfortunately, it did not grow. Um, it was still 100% water, 100% light after two days. So there's definitely a concern with that. So unfortunately, the plant bed on a server does not grow without a BCU. Single player, it seems to work fine. So it's definitely a server scenario. Oh, yeah. So what we're having to do is make two plant beds for the neutral base jeez oh, and just walking just walking we're gonna label one of them mine one of them mr mozos and we can't really touch the other one unless we have control of the base and you have access to yours but if we're growing cotton and stuff like that it'd, it'd be pretty mean of me to just delete all his cotton seeds or take all his stuff to where like i said this is a fun friendly pvp aspect of it and so, yeah, it's, we're just going to designate one myself and one for Mozo. Yeah, the original, the original idea was to have it on our own personal base, and then you, you know, wouldn't be a problem. But because the game mechanics don't allow that, and because we do need a way in which we can use the plant bed facility, it kind of makes sense just to say, okay, it's an abandoned base. It has a garden. Uh, we're going to allocate one piece of the garden to Mr. Grimstick, and I'll have the other piece of the garden and you know that allows us then to continue with um, you know getting the veg and the cotton and things that you need for game progression and we just have a gentleman's agreement not to take each other's so that's, that's basically all we can do all right so we do that with that in that okay and we'll let that do its thing Oh, we. Do I have any. F I don't have any protein. Okay. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, protein I'm doing fine on. It's the veg that's uh, holding me back. Just. Well, the good thing is it is June, so strawberries yeah. are out and about. Well, I don't normally have a problem. I've normally got hundreds of, of uh, blueberries and things. It's not normally an issue, but in this game, for some reason, I'm just not finding them. Okay. The sun is starting to set. 
It is. I was going to do a reference to a Hulk thing and say big boy, but that would be kind of little... <laughs> not really cool. <laughs> it's so much cooler when Scarlett Johansson says it better than... <laughs> Uh, okay, so, no, it didn't disappear. Okay, put that away, put that away. So for my viewer's benefit, you'll notice I have got uh, the stuff I need for a uh, wood stove, a VCU, to be able to place when I get there. I have made a fire, and I did right, make chicken. a fire starter, Sorry, dude. I'm going to have to make another one. Um, and when it goes broken. dark, I'm going to assume Mr. Crimstick is going to go back to his base to do some fishing, uh, which is going to give me the opportunity, hopefully, uh, to break in and I'm hoping that he hasn't upgraded his t-shirt so I'm hoping it'll be too cold for him to be able to come and defend uh, wish me luck but that's my plan okie dokie so All right. that should be enough sun is looking a little bit low unfortunately it is I am rushing to one of my bases <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit nondescript there. <laughs> I can't imagine which base that would be. Well, I think right, I'll probably uh, spend the night fishing and um, hope for the best. Yeah, see, that's where I kind of messed up. Because on my base, I don't really have access to largemouth bass or anything like that. Catfish. Hey, it's the summertime. I might get some catfish. I, I think you can. Cool. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure largemouth bass can be caught in the small pond. No. Okay. I'm pretty sure they can. Yeah. I'm sure. I I was surprised to have caught one recently in uh, uh, one of the games I was doing. I can't remember which one, but yeah, pretty sure I have caught one. Interesting. All right. Yeah, that would be cool because I got to thinking about it, and I I did three or four casts, and I got small fish every time. Just got to keep trying, I guess. Okay, so here is my last hope for something cool. Oh, it's really getting dark, though. Yeah, sun is about to drop. All right, so unfortunately, no. No? Unfortunately, no. I just no. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, all right. Well, I'm gonna head back to base. That's not cryptic at away. all. And yeah, I'll probably cut this part out of it because it's too dark for anything. Okay. Okay. Um. Pop my fire up again. I can't believe how much wood these fires go through. I hey, dude, you've had that thing for quite a while now. I could only imagine. Yeah. Well, this is. I had to replace it when we were doing our uh, off-camera bit, uh, getting resources and things. The durability got down. I think to 14 or something stupid and I ended up having to make oh, wow. a new fire but um yeah it's just crazy Wow, 
Wow, actually finding more loot now at this time of night than I found all day. This is proving to be a little tricky. Uh, trying not to attract any attention of wildlife. We've got rogues right up there, which means they could be fishing down here. Uh, and I need to get through before the night is out. Now, I am fairly confident that uh, Crimstick will be wanting to fish to get his um, health kits up. Especially oh, yeah, as I yeah, shot him today, and he may have ended up using one. So. I want to take this opportunity and oh lord oh, I think that's a deer I've got uh, an upgraded t-shirt and I'm kind of hoping that uh, he hasn't which means it should be too cold for him to come out but uh, no, keep your fingers crossed I'm kind of losing track of my ooh that's a wolf my direction here so where are we? oh yeah we were way off we need to go this way. So I've um, actually muted him at the moment. I think he's just passing the night fishing. He thinks that we've right, all so there's that. off. Alright, so I'm gonna have to announce our attack as soon as I'm in a position. The same as if the hunters were attacking the, the wall. Oh no! Ah, uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. Well done, dude. I am. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. Not a problem. I can do this. Uh. Shoot. Really? Ah. Uh, awful, dude. Awful. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I take it. I guess so, right then. Did I? <laughs> yeah. All right. I know you're gonna be there for a while, but I've got. Oh, and I just, it just, uh, all my food burned. No, I don't have any food. I'm just going to oh, check, uh, in a couple okay. of minutes, I'm going to check the map uh, and see out. if I can see That's his cool. light coming That's out, cool. because I'm pretty sure he Hold won't on. come out of light. Let the sunlight come up a little bit, I know i got a little time. Oh, did you burn all your food? Oh, I'm, shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, one, two, three. Okay, so get that put away. Oh, dude, nicely done. All right. <laughs> I can see where the struggle is, because if you've got a lot going on in your personal base, trying to drop everything to get over there at such a long run. Well done. All right. Well, it was a calculated gamble, because obviously you could have been here. You, you were saying earlier about uh, maybe Alpha attacking and all the rest of it, so it was like, mm, I wonder if he's going to stay in, in the base overnight. And of course, there's no way of knowing. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Well, no worries. At least gives this. I still see a green light over there, so they weren't going after. Because I heard what I was doing is I was getting my fish trap stuff, but then there's a road camp over where the um, uh, the cougars are. I was like, oh sweet, are they fighting a cougar? And I see rogues over there still surviving, so I don't know if they did or not. Oh. Yeah, if there's green lights there, they're still, they're still there. You get everything organized. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, that was not good. Alright, didn't know that was going to do that. Can't believe how long these doors take to chop down, though. It's uh, tedious, isn't it? Yes, it is. It really, really is. Alright. Well, considering you still have a campfire, I mean, I, I've got some time to prep for it and get it back. Oh, that's cool. So enjoy it for now, Mr. Mozo, because mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have water. I don't have anything right now. 
Oh my gosh. Alright, so I can make one of those. Alright, yeah, this gives me a little time to work on my personal base. And now, since I don't own either base, or my, I don't own neutral base, I can go after your personal one. Well, technically you still own it. I haven't actually taken it over yet. <laughs> well, that is true. I don't so, know, you could stop at any time and it could still be mine. Yeah, I could chop the door down and not take the BCU out. I could just see if you left anything in the loot crates. Make use of the wood burner, wait wait for the hunters to attack, and then it's your problem to deal with them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can... Are those hunters seriously wrecking up a storm over... Or the rogues? I looked out my window because rogues were firing, and I heard a ricochet come really close to me. I'm like, wait a minute. All right, I got to get this inventory, though. This is going to drive me nuts. So as quickly as I can. All right, keep Ash down here. I think you hear that ricochet very often. It's just, it doesn't mean they're necessarily even firing in your direction. I think sometimes you just get the sound effect. Like they can be the other side of the map shooting something and you'll sometimes hear a ricochet. Wow, did you, uh, I'm having your voice there, buddy? You're sounding really deep. No. Oh. It's probably my connection. Know. It might be, might be, uh, my connection is, um, a bit bad with bad weather going over. It tends to change my voice. I, I mean, that's pretty cool, dude. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> So biofuel down here. Get that there. It's not. I can see the bullets going in the water. They're shooting in my direction. It just splashes. Oh. Yeah. They gotta be looking in my direction, dude. That's insane. Alright, so I just use an admin command here to delete the BCU uh, because obviously 15,000, you just there's no way you can uh, get through that. So we just agreed that we would use the admin command to do that. And they put mine up. So there we go, just need the power and mass now to uh, recover. And I do need to make a door. Now uh, that was something I don't think I considered. I didn't realize I had so many crude. Uh tree grubs. Eight nails, huh? Okay, so... Yeah, that's gonna be that. Oh, I'm so messed up on my inventory. Uh, oh, did you not leave me any loot? <laughs> oh, so you're in! Oh! Alright, there's some stuff there, but, um... Like I said, I'm just going back and forth so much. Alright, mm. so we're going to keep that here. Let's see. I was kind of hoping you'd left a crate full of nails for me. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that there. Put this up here. Yeah, so I gotta do that, so I gotta make that. No, I don't have any of that. Oh, fantastic. Wait, no. I eat all my food? Uh, did you say you burnt it? I burnt some of it. Oh, did I... I don't know, I'm all in shambles right now. I'm not used to... PvP so much. Alright. <laughs> Not that. Okay, so I'll keep this in here. Yeah, I think I did burn all of it. Ah, uh, that's not good. Alright, so Mozo has taken over the neutral base. 
Yes, he has. So uh, congratulations on your wood burner. It's uh, only June, so six months into the game. Yeah. Very nice, well, good sir. Unfortunately, <laughs> I've, got, I've got to wait for the mass to build up now before I can actually make the damn oh, thing. Oh, that's so. true. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm waiting for that. Let's go check. Yeah, I can't do any of that, so I'm going to have to do this. Let's go over there and look and see going on with the rogues, because if they were going after a cougar, yeah, I would love be. some boots. You might be lucky. And then we're going to go see what's up with Mr. Mozo. <laughs> oh, no, okay. There's like two of them three of them and they have helmets oof all right where's a moose when you need one well good luck with that because I tried a couple of mooses and uh, it didn't go so well for me all right, maybe hey, I should um, just all right, offline couple of days I was being pestered by road camps real close to me and I decided just to try and send mooses into them and it did not work I got enough of those. All right, I'm gonna have to get my stuff up real quick. Get that neutral base back. I was working on a project. Now is probably not a good time because it seems to be surrounded by rogues. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, I can rest a little easier now and, and see what it's like on this side of the game. Yeah. Let me go ahead and chop a bunch of wood, get some trees, and prepare for the revenge. <laughs> yeah, pressure's off you for a couple of days. It's nice. It's really nice, actually. <laughs> now you don't know if I'm going after your personal base. That's right. And you got Alpha right there. Okay, now here's a question that I am kind of curious about. Since you now have the neutral base, you have the um, the BCU. If I attack a hunter, they don't have a BCU for me to go off of. Are they going to go after the only BCU on the map? Uh, no, I don't actually know the answer to that, but I think if you don't have a BCU, they don't revenge. So, um, I, I don't know that for certain, but that's my understanding. Gosh, see what you mean about the animals? Wow. <laughs> I'm just having a great old time over here. Yeah. Finally catching up on some of the things I've been rushing around for. And hopefully I can find... ...the news I'm looking for. Every time I say that, I think of that White Snake song. Uh, hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, because I've made up my mind. There you go. I ain't wasting no more time. Here I go again. Oh, yeah, definitely demonetized. Oh, definitely going to get demonetized now. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's a shame. Oh, that's right. I don't have any protein. Oh, what am I doing? Alright, so, since he has the neutral base, that means if I go over in this area, I have a very good chance of running into him. Ah. So that's just cut your map in half. It kind of has, actually, because now you have that whole other area. I mean, don't get me wrong, Birch Tree Forest is a very nice looting area, so I haven't lost out too much. True. Right, 
Let's go see what Mr. Mozo's up to. <laughs> Mr. Mozo is running around frantically trying to find nails. And why would Mr. Mozo need to be running around frantically to try and find nails? He's worried about an attack. Actually, no, there's no door. Hey! <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. Well, let's see. Think again. We can snatch some of uh, no Mozo's <laughs> nails. Think again. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I figured you'd have planned for that one. Well, I didn't actually. I did completely forget about a door, uh, which is why I didn't mention it until I'd got enough nails to make a door. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Um, ooh, okay, so we're a long way off that. Uh, that's not going to go very far. And can't do that. Hmm. Right, we'll do that, and that, and that. Um... Hmm. This is this is tricky. Yep. Can't really build a lot. All right, come on. Give me what I'm. All right, so there is Mr. Mozo's base. <laughs> so different because I don't own this now. It's like I have to be even caref more careful. Yep. I say it's a completely different view on the game. I mean, it, you really like operating without a BCU and just sort of saying, "Oh, I think I'll build a. I've got power and mass now. I'll build a whatever." You kind of you're stuck in limbo uh, until you yeah. can change the situation. So it's it's really difficult. I'm shocked actually at the difference it's made. Good, maybe that'll give me a little advantage. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Alright. Alright. Uh, Was he around here? Oh, no, but they are. Okay. <laughs> hey, beautiful. All right. Oh, yes. I don't like the way you said that. All right. behind the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go chill in my one base now, <laughs> knowing that you cannot attack it, and I'm just going to hang out for a little bit and let Alpha do its thing. I mean, uh, honestly... I wasn't too worried about getting the base, but I do need a wood burner. <laughs> I am so fed yeah, up of I feeding that fire. <laughs> I could see that, yeah. Yeah, it gets... I mean, you, you fill it up before you go out. You pop out, and you've gone like five minutes, it seems, 
and then you're having to go back and put wood on the fire and it's just it's so restrictive <laughs> Shooting. Somebody's up to mischief. What are you talking about? <laughs> you wouldn't be somewhere around Alpha by any chance, would you? Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't get any. Um, didn't get any weapon parts. Oh, what a shame! <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> just automatically just say. Trying to. Automatically kill them say, enough, oh. so they come back with helmets. Yeah, yeah, just to make life really tricky. Yeah. Um. What am I doing? Yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I was actually wondering what would happen if we didn't defend the um, the neutral base and just let them destroy the BCU. Like <laughs> the hunters destroy the BCU? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whoever had it control last really needs to keep up with it. Uh, that would seriously suck. <laughs> if we yeah. didn't have anything <laughs> then I'm being punished for your troubles for, for, for my lethargy they'd be like oh it's under attack I can't be bothered to run all the way back there <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah not good How did you see me, dude? Oh, come on, bear! You need to move. Oh, they can see you uh, magically. They can be the other side of a tree and know exactly where you are. Yeah, I could care less uh, if you uh, grab the base back off me tomorrow. I wouldn't care. As long as I've got a wood burner. <laughs> <laughs> <It's like laughs> Dude, uh, I should have fought for it then, but I should have just dropped everything. But by the time I got over there, it would have been dark. I can't see anything. On me, well, I'd run into every single animal. I was kind of banking on you not having upgraded your t-shirt. Um, that was kind of my main... Um, uh, what's the word? Advantage, if you know what I mean. So, because it's so cold yeah. at, at night, al although the moon was pretty bright, which was a bit annoying, I was really hoping it would be a dark, dark night. Uh, cold, preferably not raining, but cold would have been better. Oh, uh, okay. Uh. Mm. Um. But you know, I think it it worked out okay because fortunately. I know that you like to fish at night, um, so I 
guessed that you would have gone back so that you could fish overnight. That's your Achilles heel. Got to fish, got to fish, got to yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why couldn't we make the base on the, a pond? I mean, that would have been fantastic. And that's why. I would have no reason to leave. <laughs> yeah. That is the sole reason I why. Enjoyed that. <laughs> I would have definitely enjoyed that. No, no. Can't have you sitting in the in the base that I need to capture, fishing all night. It's like knock knock. Hang on, I'll be there in a minute. Bang. No, yeah, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh. Rogues are really scattered around quite well. So are these animals. Okay, oh. let's see where we're at. Wonderful. Picking up logs? I am. Sweet, okay. Are they down there? Oop, that's high! Oh, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I believe I got bleeding from fall damage. Uh, it must have been a sharp rock you landed on. Yeah. All right. So unfortunately, the rooms. Mm. All right. We'll put that there. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! There you go. Congratulations, Mozo. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, that. <laughs> I don't think you guys watching this, uh, until you play this scenario, I don't think you'll realize just how much of an achievement that is <laughs> to get the wood burning <laughs> stove. It's like, wow. There's that. Yeah, okay. Those, those in. Alright, now what do I need? This. And some repeat. Hey, Mr. Bear, you're totally blocking me from my uh, fish trap, dude. You get on with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna make this. Oh, I know exactly what that is. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to do this. They're firing at more things. These rogues are fearless, dude. Oh. Okay, so there's that down there. There's that. So there's that, and we need more of that. Hmm. Ah, bear. What are you doing? Okay, so, here's that, so we can do that, yep. And 
Yeah. There's an awful lot of this, that, those, and these going on here, isn't <laughs> yeah. there? Yep, there certainly is. And that is what I want to work on next, because that's amazing. <laughs> and I already have those for that. Fantastic, man. Oh. Where did I get those? It's oh, funny must have been when I did that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> been striving all day to get those, and now you've got those, you can have one of those. And now you've got that, then you can make that. And I really need that. <laughs> Oh, if only I'd have got more of those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fishing. Okay, this feels natural now. Ah, I feel feel in my comfort zone. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and it's getting right. dark. So this is the second day, I think, right? It is, yeah. So I just have something very important to add to my base. And um, then I think we will call that an episode. That first of all, we need to delete one of those to make a bit of room. And then we need to add one of those because, I mean, you've got to have one of those, haven't you? Wonderful. The struggle is over. Well, maybe that's a little bit of an it's exaggeration. Just <laughs> it's just a small exaggeration, perhaps. But um, <laughs> yeah. uh, wonderful, right? Let me just put some of this away. Don't want to be carrying all that with me, just in case Mr. Crimstick decides to attack. And we'll eat that. And ooh, I need another storage crate. Ooh. That is music to my ears. I have so much stuff. So much. Millions of stuffs. <laughs> I've got nowhere to put it. Um, right. So I have to make one of those. And then I have to make one of uh, those. And ooh. come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's still two rogues. All right, rogues, y'all need to move. That is like right in my way for what I have planned for next episode. Yes, finally, finally, I no longer have to feed a campfire. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so very happy. Right, everybody, I'm afraid uh, it is night time again, and we need to uh, wrap this episode up. But um, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a bit of an uneventful attack, as it turns out, because Crimstick was um, uh, too coward, too cowardly to come and... Ooh. Can Actually, we defend no, against, uh, against the, the mighty the mighty Mozo was just too uh, powerful a force. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm about very disorganized with all my loot and I'm trying to put it in one <laughs> container while no. crafting multiple containers. I'm just winding you up, right. of course. I'll get it no. back. It's, um, I deliberately Actually, timed I mean, deliberately timed my attack to be on the most inconvenient time I could. Oh, ooh, something just died. The most inconvenient time that I could. Um, you know, for you, because I had all day to plan it, whereas you had like seconds to react to it, and that's the way I, <laughs> that's the way I wanted it. But uh, I don't care what happens now. I have my wood burning stove. That's yes. Now I can expand my base. <laughs> I really all's, wish. I'd all's good. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I sh oh. Okay. Now here's a question. Mm. If I go and attack your base, can I destroy your stuff in the base, or can I just do I have to just steal things? I, I think just looting. I think uh, we never actually discussed um, destroying the bases or anything, did we? I think uh, that would just be a bit too. That would be like 
hardcore with the plant beds, you know. Oh yeah, you've got eight cotton just about ready tomorrow, so I'm going to take the base over and kill you, and then I can get all that cotton <laughs> off you. Yeah, I think that would just be like the hardcore version of King of the Hill if you wanted to do one. Um, Makes so, sense. No, I, I, I think just you know, if you're attacking my personal base, you, you've got to beat down my door. I've got to defend it um, with all my might. Uh, if you manage to get in and, and kill me if I'm defending, then obviously, well, you get the loot. That's that's the nature of the game. Yeah. And, and I'm going to be really upset. I'm really upset about it. That is true. See, my concern is how much loot's in the neutral base and how much is in your personal base. Yeah, well, that's a decision you have to make. <laughs> I, or just wait till next episode and I can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a bit mean. But yeah, you could do yeah, that too. Yeah, I totally would. Yeah. No, cool. Thank you very much, Grimstick. Um, been a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And let's hope to see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves now. Bye bye. Bye bye.